back to the channel, fat boys. Okay, so right now we're on top of the Sportster S, and this is going to be my first time riding. So let's go ahead and start the trip, and I'll continue talking about it. All right, so starting us off, I am 5 foot 11, and I'm able to easily flat foot this. My end seam is 32 inches, and so I am easily flat footing this, as you can see. It is a very aggressive forward stance. The first thing I really do notice is that my leg is bumping up right up against the heat shield right now. So that is something to kind of note when wanting to ride this bike. These forward mid controls are really reminding me of the Fat Bob, in a sense, because they're a little bit forward. They're not that far forward, and it is raining here and there because we are in Florida a freaking course and so this video I really do want to talk about just what the bike is feeling like not really going over like all the technical specs of it but like really what your experience is on this bike I'm noticing the clutch is kind of like in a weird position it's in a different feel to it it's a very light clutch it feels it just feels very different than what i'm used to this bike also feels like you're really high up i'm sitting like really right on top of it i like i heard other people talk about that i never really understood what they were talking about the front brakes feel really good fat tire is is actually a little bit hard to move on this bike it's not quite as flickable as i thought it would be but it's still a really exciting motorcycle just like off of the couple of little bits that i've done since it is raining we're actually going to take the shorter trip and i'm going to change it from road mode to sport mode to get a feel for it That really wakes it up. <laughs> yeah, this feels a lot better in sport mode. And I'm still only like halfway through the RPM band right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry it's raining for you guys. I can't <laughs> really take it how I want to right now. Engine braking is okay. It's a little aggressive. What is different on this bike in comparison to all other Harley Davidson bikes except for the Pan America is the single sided turn signals, which is different. It's, it's not like every other Harley where you have them on both sides. So this is a lot more like every other motorcycle out there on the market. You also got a whole bunch of different controls on here. You also got a really nice display right up in front that you're able to see. I'm able to see everything super clearly. It's not a lot on there but it's still pretty good to see the only thing that i really noticed that's kind of bothering to me is like there's all these tiny things on here too so like you got the time it's super tiny it's hard to see but you very clearly have your speedometer right there and you got your tack all the way through digital tack too and then you also have a very clear signal of what mode you are in and go oh my God! <laughs> Woo! Engine braking feels good. It's the uh, rev matching that doesn't feel that good. Oh my lord, have mercy. This thing has got some pull. It's very understandable when other motor vloggers are talking about like this is a very serious bike. And now I really do understand it when Blockhead was saying it's comparable to the MT-09 and I completely agree. It feels almost like a sport bike. It really does. It has that long pull band that you're wanting through the RPMs and it keeps pulling through there. And it, I never even came close to Redline. Man, it just, it just keeps pulling. I really like this bike. The only thing I'm not a big fan of really is the seat because it's a very tiny little seat. So I feel like my butt is kind of on it and I can just easily fall off of it. For me, the clutch is like way out on this bike. So this is just an extremely different motorcycle than anything else Harley has come out with. And so when I'm while I'm making this video, the Sports RS has been out for a little while, but Harley is coming out with new Sportsters very shortly. They have teased at it, they talked about it recently, and some of their videos that they just did, the Faster Further event, or Further Faster event, I think that's what it was. Yeah, the clutch is way out on here, but that can be adjusted, I believe. You got adjustable levers, which makes it better. Oh, 
man, this bike just... <laughs> It just feels different. It's a different bike entirely. The tank is nice and small. My leg isn't bumping up against any of that. And I guess since I actually do ride, I normally do keep my right leg up anyways. I do do the flamingo when putting my legs down. So since my right leg is almost always up, I actually am not hitting the exhaust like I thought I would be most of the times. It's not that big of a deal as I thought it would be. And the brakes feel super grippy, super nice. No problem stopping at all on this bike. And here's the little twisty section. Twisty with, quote, the twisty section here that we get down in Florida for these test rides. So let's see what this feels like. The roads are a little bit wetter, but let's see how it feels when it's leaning. And the bumps feel pretty good. I'm going to go over this. Pretty good, actually. Suspension feels really good, like it's really working. I'm not really going fast enough in these corners, but... <laughs> this bike does feel flickable, but the front end is just a little bit harder to maneuver around than you might generally expect. I really like this bike. This is fun. I would actually consider getting this bike. It's different than other Harley bikes. It's not that like typical feeling you get with all the other Harley bikes. It's very, I don't want to say raw because I feel like other, I feel like all the other Harley bikes are very raw, but this one, it, it has just a, almost like a thumper quality. It almost has like a one cylinder quality to it but it just revs out so differently oh my god see it's just it like it has that instant go of like a one cylinder that many people like about having but it just it just keeps going it goes much farther in the rev line than than a one cylinder but it, it just feels so much fun and so something i actually just realized is that it's only i forgot that it's only a single disc up front but surprisingly it is actually a pretty good stopping power on just that single disc because it is brembo so it just it really holds it really stops like how you would i honestly didn't even realize it wasn't a dual disc which is pretty awesome actually and so for final thoughts and impressions this bike really <laughs> really pulls it's actually a, like an amazingly fun motorcycle i've i was not disappointed in anything the only thing that i guess for critique wise is that i wish they had a smaller front tire on this so that way it would handle more how it looks and how you might want it to which is something a lot of people have been saying but it really is an amazing fun bike um other critiques i do have is that the seat a little bit thin a little bit small but that is what it is it's perfect it's a smaller bike it's meant for canyon carving it's meant for fun it's not meant for touring that's why you only have a very small gas tank on here but man if you guys have the opportunity to go ride this bike highly recommend it this bike i am recommending for anyone that is wanting a potential canyon carver a racetrack a racing bike a all-around fun bike uh top of the line directly from harley davidson so guys if you like the video make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up it is greatly appreciated it really helps out the channel if you're new here make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you ring that bell notification so you know when the next video comes on out i'll catch you on the next one peace <laughs>